Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I am taking you through a week of carnivore. So I decided to do a week of carnivore to see how I felt, to see how I liked it. I've heard a lot of good things about the carnivore diet. Some of the benefits that I have read about the carnivore diet is it helps people with Crohn's disease, it helps people with autoimmune disease, it helps um, your digestive tract work better. It also helps with inflammation, mental clarity. So I just wanted to give it a try. I did weigh myself at the beginning of this diet, so I will leave my starting weight here. It's not why I decided to do the carnivore, but it is a definite plus. So I just wanted to see if there was any weight change during the week. Things you can consume on carnivore are meat, fish, dairy, eggs, animal fats, condiments such as salt and pepper. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna take you through my week of carnivore eating. Starting off my morning with a coffee. I will be adding two scoops of collagen, two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, and about a half a tablespoon, I don't know, tablespoon of Kerrygold butter. I will not be adding all my beautiful sweeteners to my coffee this week. And I notice when I add butter, I don't really need to add sweetener. It kind of like sweetens it naturally for me. Oh, the coffee tastes horrible. So I am going to add a little bit of this to my coffee. It's like the only thing I enjoy. Coffee is a much better with a little bit of added sweetener to it. I'm okay with that because I don't plan to have sweetener the rest of the day. This is my only cup of coffee I am having. So if I need to add a little bit of sweetener to it to be able to get it down, because I want to take my collagen, I am going to do it. So I'm okay with that. Okay, my first carnivore meal is going to be two eggs scrambled with an ounce of cheese. I did not cook this in any kind of butter or anything. I just sprayed the pan with a little bit of um, avocado oil just because I still have my butter coffee that I am still drinking. I have not finished that. I have 15 pepperonis that I microwaved. I use the pepperoni from Fred Meyers. And I'm also chugging down some water with no drink enhancers, which I usually do, but I'm not doing that this week. So just plain old water. I'm going to go and enjoy my meal. All right, you guys, I am having some sugar cravings. It's only been two hours since I ate my first meal, which was the, the eggs. But I read if you are having cravings to go ahead and eat. So I weighed out two ounces of carne asada meat. So I'm gonna be snacking on this and I'm going to see if that helps. Okay, I just made myself two chaffles. This is probably gonna be my last meal. It is already like 4.30 and this is usually the time I finish eating. So if you guys wanna check out how I make my chaffles, I have a video for that and I'll leave that linked for you guys so you guys can go and check out. But so far, day one of carnivore is done and I think I did pretty good. The meat snacking did help the sugar cravings, so I will keep that in mind for tomorrow. And hopefully tomorrow goes a little bit more smoothly, but overall today was not a bad day. So the first day of carnivore was definitely the hardest day. I was having a lot of sugar cravings and I heard if you have sugar cravings to just go ahead and eat. You're not really counting calories or anything like that. Even though I kept track of my macros just because I wanted to see where I was at. But um, I definitely was having a hard time with the sugar cravings. As you saw, I did let myself use a little bit of sweetener in my coffee. That's pretty much the only sweetener I was having that day, so I was okay with it. Um, it just tasted really, really bad without it. Day two of carnivore, I'm starting it off with a cup of coffee, and this coffee has no butter in it. First meal of day two, I got two hot dog links, five bacon strips, two slices of sharp cheddar cheese, and I am drinking my first bottle of the 24 ounces of water. Having myself a snack, this is three ounces of pork loin. So we are cooking up some burgers and steaks. So while that cooks, I'm going to be having this because I am pretty hungry. Okay, my last meal, it is a chaffle bun with a beef patty, a slice of cheese. I got the other side cooking here and I'm going to allow myself a tablespoon of ranch with this meal and that is it for day two. So day two definitely went a lot better. I woke up and I was less bloated, which is a, a huge plus. Also, I had a lot of energy, um, which I haven't felt in quite a few days, so that was really nice to see and feel. Also, in my coffee, I did not add butter, and I will not add butter the rest of the week, as you guys will see. Carnivore day three. 
first meal of the day. I am making myself like a cheese bun in the waffle iron. So there's about an ounce of cheese in each one and I'm making another one to go on top. Two beef patties and two strips of bacon. So one bacon strip and the other bacon strip. And I'm going to serve it up with a little bit of mustard. I know this is probably not carnivore, but I can't just eat meat without dipping it in something. So I'm going to do mustard today. Okay, I am eating again. This is three and a half ounces of flat iron steak from Butcher Box. And I am also down four of these 24 ounces of water. So day three, basically feeling the same way as day two, less bloated, more energy. Um, the only difference was day three, I was not feeling hungry at all, which was nice and um the only downfall was i was super super thirsty on day three like i could not chug down enough water um, so i definitely drank a lot of water on day three day four of carnivore and i'm starting off with coffee so today is a little different today's coffee i added only one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream instead of two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream i'm still doing the two scoops of collagen and i didn't like it without the sweetener um, this time I started measuring it out and I did two of these capfuls of sweetener in here and that is my coffee. All right, you guys, second meal of the day. We ended up coming to Jack in the Box and I ordered the buttery Swiss burger with no bun and I ordered an extra patty and I'm also drinking a Diet Coke, which I know I shouldn't, but I am. And I have some mustard here. All right, before we continue, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. All right, let's continue. All right, day five breakfast, another chaffle sandwich. So I got two of them here, two slices of turkey on each one, two bacon strips on each one. Got the last chaffle cooking there and my coffee. I am at the Washington State Fair. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but this is my second meal for day five. And I am having a bacon wrapped hot dog and I'm gonna have two of these. All right, third meal of the day here at the fair. I got me one fourth of a pound of barbecued brisket and this is what I'm eating. This is my husband's and I'm drinking it with a diet soda. So day four and five, I am still feeling the energy. I am not as bloated though I felt a little bit more bloated than I did on day two and three just because I did drink those sodas that you guys saw, which I knew I shouldn't have drank, but I caved in and I drank them anyways, which I regretted um, day six on the morning because I did wake up pretty bloated. I hardly had any water those two days, so definitely I think water is a huge thing on the carnivore diet. First meal of day six, I have two scrambled eggs with 15 slices of pepperoni that I cut up, a slice of cheese, and I am downing my first bottle of water. All right, I'm going to go ahead and snack because I'm kind of having some cravings, so I measured out an ounce of pork rinds. I'm gonna be dipping it in this French onion dip. I'll probably have like maybe two to three tablespoons worth of this and I am chugging down another 24 ounces of water. Third meal of the day is a burger patty with a slice of cheese, two slices of pepperoni, some mustard and some ranch and I am on my fourth 24 ounce bottle of water. Day seven, first meal of the day, two eggs cooked in a tablespoon of butter, a slice of Tullamuk cheese, two Hebrew national hot dogs and I also already had my cup of coffee. Last meal of carnivore day seven, it is a chaffle taco. So a chaffle with some ground beef, sour cream, more cheese on top, and a little bit of taco sauce. So all in all, I really like the carnivore diet. I don't think it's something that is gonna be sustainable for me long term, just because I do like my avocados. I do like my keto sweet treats every once in a while. It is definitely something I'm going to try to implement a little bit more. So try to stay a little bit more carnivore during the week and maybe have my, you know, things that I'm craving during the weekend as far as avocados or maybe like a salad or, you know, some kind of like mug cake or something on the weekend. One thing I did learn about myself on the carnivore diet was the mindless snacking that I have been doing and the amount of sweeteners that I have been consuming. Even though they're keto approved sweeteners, it is still a lot of sweeteners. So that is definitely something that I have learned and now I am mindful of and I'm trying to really 
you know, watch what I'm eating and just eat when I'm hungry and not just do like snacking because I am bored or um, you're watching TV or you're going out so you, you know, you want to just eat. So that's definitely something that I have learned. Also, the weight loss was not bad. I will leave my final weigh-in right here. So that was a plus to see the scale go down a little bit. But definitely not feeling bloated is a it was huge. So that is definitely one big reason why I like the carnivore diet. There was no bloatedness. There was no gas. Um, just, you know, going to the bathroom was a lot easier, TMI, but you know, it's part of the, you know, experience. But it was a really good experience. So um, definitely very happy with the carnivore diet. For anyone who has tried the carnivore diet, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it. Leave any tips in the comments for anybody who is wanting to start the carnivore diet. Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram. I post on there daily for motivation, inspiration. I am also doing a giveaway on there. You guys still have time to join. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.